is nasty. This is in my girls' room. I have not taken down since we revamped our bedroom and I have a video on that it's a shared nursery and our master bedroom a small space but I need to wash those it kind of grosses me out thinking it's been six months or seven months since I have taken those down or even hung them up so if you're like me and you just get rolling on doing making the bed dusting and you kind of just forget about the curtains then give this video a thumbs up because we're gonna do some cleaning like I said today and it just needs to be done and sometimes we feel like these things are unseen and they are but I think it's important to care for the home in that way and things that we can't even see but yet are so important in keeping even the hygiene of the house good and just good for us as homemakers so I'm in a pretty casual outfit today I have my oversized thrifted sweater. My outfit's all thrifted. Pretty much usual. Some purple leggings that I enjoy wearing with this sweater. And then just wore some hoops and a fun ribbon in my hair. So we are going to do some home um, maintenance and upkeep. So let's take these curtains down and get them in the wash. It's laundry day for bedding as well so there's nothing on our bed which will help too because just in case a bunch of dust bunnies fall or something like that don't want that on my clean made bed so I just left it unmade for now. I gotta share this that is nasty this is in my girls' room so good thing I'm taking care of these curtains today oh boy you get to see it all don't you guys So I also like to make our sandwich loaf bread on these days and kind of restock the kitchen with like muffins or a bread. Um, kind of refill my pantry a little bit with, I need to resupply our honey jar up here from our bulk honey. Just kind of take care of some of those things. So I'm going to make our sandwich loaf bread um, and then incorporate the rest of the kitchen work in between the rest of the homeschooling and reading and other things that we'll be doing.
Well, it's kind of a workout to scoop out that really hard honey, but I am going to actually go work on a video. I need to get out by tomorrow. It's about 1.20, so kiddos are napping and have not rehung the curtains yet. They are just hanging over my couch right now waiting because everybody is down napping. And I still haven't finished my coffee, so I'm gonna do that while I edit a video and um, rest up my back and neck a little bit. So I get nursing neck, every baby I have, I do. And so I get very tight up here um, along my neckline and into my skull causing headaches, sometimes pretty intense, which sometimes even almost make me nauseous. So I don't want that to become a problem. So I'm going to just sit, slow down a little bit and edit the video. And then I bet by three o'clock we'll be headed outside because the sun is so beautiful. The snow is just melting, the water is flowing and it's a gorgeous day outside. dried and still have one napping so I am going to hang these up and it'll feel all fresh and clean again and I just can't get over the vibrancy of the sun outside like it's just ah, it's gorgeous I love it so excited to get outside with the kiddos today in the melting slushy mess <laughs> Video editing was uh, done for now. I'm <laughs> not completely done, but I'm gonna work on supper prep. I usually do that during nap time as well. We're having salmon patties, a yogurt salmon patty, and then we'll have some garden potatoes in like circular gardens and um, rounds, and then also some beets I still need to use from Azure that I'll roast. So just very simple. We'll probably have sauerkraut with it too, because that sounds really good. Very simple, but I need to get that done. And then I'm gonna make an applesauce yogurt bread if I get time. So I need to prioritize supper prep first and then I will get to that if I have time. I keep sinking too. Right. So we are back in from outside. It is about 10 to five. So we spent a good chunk of time outside. I put my hat on so my hair's all matted, but I ended up making my matcha latte. So it's a little bit late for some caffeine, but I felt like something warm while I was finishing prepping supper. And while I had the oven on, I thought I might as well make my weekly granola and then I'll probably get to the applesauce bread as well. So for my granola, it's on my blog. It's a peanut butter protein packed granola. So it's got powdered peanut butter in it and coconut oil, maple syrup. I put any kind of nut that I have. So right now it's walnuts and then um, rolled oats. That's like the basis of it. You could add some salt if you wanted, add some cinnamon, add some vanilla. So I am gonna have that ready to go in the oven after the potatoes and beets are done roasting in the oven. And I'm going to enjoy this, that is for sure. The girls are actually watching a short show since they haven't yet today. Um, this before supper time is a perfect time to have them do that.
supper dishes are all done, cleaned up, the kitchen is tidied, and dishes are in the dishwasher, washed the bigger pans, and got kiddos down. And so I think my prep for today is done. So I like to get prep done in the morning if I can, but hey, it's done even though it's like 8.30 at night. I have my granola here and my applesauce bread there and then our sourdough loaves there and the sink is pretty much empty i will set the table for the next day because i like doing that to just reset it for breakfast in the morning i have my good earth tea steeping and i'm gonna call it a night so it was just a really full day um there were some challenges we had a very full weekend, so sometimes it's harder to come back off the full weekends with the discipline and parenting, and so I don't share any of that with you guys because that's personal, and I don't need to um, be just doing that here on camera, but I just wanna say there are challenges with parenting, and I am by no means have it all together. I do not. There are times where I get frustrated, I have to stop and ask my children for forgiveness. I have to ask the Lord to guide me in my steps of parenting. And so today is one of those days. But I still love my children dearly. I love training them and they're just such blessings. And I love homemaking and just what God has instilled in my heart to do here. So I even got a little emotional for you guys, <laughs> not purposefully. Well, I love you guys, and I hope you enjoy coming along on this um, winter thawing day. I will talk with you in the next one.